nominees for Outstanding Talk Show Entertainment are The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Live with Kelly and Michael, The Talk. <laughs> Oh, that's a great a moment. Really so yeah. nice. Well deserved, too. Cheryl Underwood and the ladies of the talk, as you see, couldn't contain their excitement when they revealed this year's daytime Emmy nominees. And this morning, neither can we. We're very proud of everybody. CBS earned 62 nominations on Tuesday for shows like The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, The Price is Right, and don't forget, Let's Make a Deal, senior editor at Variety, Ramin Satuta, is here to break it all down. We're going to talk about the talk in just a second, because that, that's a, that was a great moment for them. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the soaps, because a lot of people are saying, are the soaps still on? Yes, they are. Uh, the Young and the Restless received 25 nominations. The Bold and the Beautiful received 19. That's a lot. So what does this say about the popularity of soap? And the other two are General Hospital and Days of Our Lives. So those are the four last... On other networks. On other networks. <laughs> yeah. Those are the four last soaps that are yes. remaining. So they had to nominate the last soaps remaining in this category. I think the soaps do have a very, very loyal fan base. And the people that watch the soaps love the soaps. And they love watching the daytime mm -hmm. Emmys, which have always honored the soaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a big, big day for the talk, too. They received seven Emmy nominations. Right. And it, it was it was great because they also they 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 got in, but another show called The View was Why snubbed, not? which was a big snub. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't nominated for best talk show hosts or for best talk show, and they've had a rough year this year with Barbara Walters leaving and Rose O'Donnell leaving mid season. Mm -hmm. And that hasn't happened in a long time. No, The View That's, always gets nominated. The in that View category. always gets nominated. Any other surprises? Um, I think one of the surprises was that uh, Netflix and Hulu got in yeah. because streaming services, a lot of these award shows are figuring out what to do with streaming services. The Oscars don't allow for VOD. The Emmys do allow for streaming services like Netflix. The Golden Globes do. So I think we're going to see, this is going to be a discussion that we're going to be having in the years to come. What exactly constitutes a television show now and what constitutes a movie? Does it have to yeah. play in theaters? Does it have to play on TV? Does, what, what, does, what does that mean? So I think this will be an interesting thing to see happen in award season. And how about yeah. CBS this morning? We need to give a little shout you out guys for did great. two Emmy nominations, yeah. certainly for Outstanding Technical Team and Outstanding Directing in a Talk Show Entertainment News or Morning Program. Right. Yeah, bravo. Our director yes. Randy's taking a well-deserved day off, but yeah, our she's assistant directors and others Shantae's are... Shantae's at the controls. Oh. Randy's taking a victory lap. She's the one you always hear say, cute Charlie. Oh, yeah. I love how she says yeah. that. And Fountain, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of nominations. It's yeah. very nice to see people behind the scenes who get nominations for this kind of... And the daytime yes. memories are all about that. They started in 19... Yeah. 74 because the evening Emmys weren't honoring daytime, so they oh, decided they to start are. this. Shantae, all right. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, no, it's okay. They started that. it because the evening Emmys weren't, primetime Emmys weren't honoring daytime, so they started, they had to have their own show starting in 1974. May I mention that Sunday morning was nominated too? Were you about to talk about CBS Sunday morning being nominated? I was, yes, okay, absolutely. I don't, want, I don't want to stop you. Go yeah, ahead. It's, it's all yeah. CBS this year. You guys are going to sweep all the awards. And so then Betty White, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Betty White is, yeah, she did get a Lifetime Achievement Award. I think a lot of people know her from the Golden Gir Girls and Mary Tyler Moore Show. Golden Girls. Uh, the Golden Girls <laughs> and the Mary Tyler Moore Show. But um, she actually started out doing in the 70s a lot of game shows like Match Game and the $25,000 yeah. Pyramid, so they're honoring for that. Uh, and she will be there, and it's a very look prestigious honor. Look at honor. Betty White. Wow. wow. And Judge sweet. Judy gets a big shout-out to too. Never too late to be recognized. It's tr you're so right about that. Judge Judy does. There for was the a huge court scandal shows. because for many years, Judge Judy wasn't winning the daytime Emmy, and she's the most watched judge program, and then she finally ended up winning, wow. and she's nominated now. And she yeah. deserves Congratulations to, be there. to, to all of those. Yeah. Thank you very much for Thank you me. for coming Thanks in. Sure. We yeah. appreciate that. You can watch the 42nd Annual Daytime Emmy Awards on Sunday. April 26th is a date on, <coughs> bless you, Charlie, Excuse me. Pop TV.